voice. Put up your hands. Turn around. Get their gun, Steve. We better scram. The cops will be here in a minute. Get the car and take it out of here. I guess so. Just not cold. They got away, huh? Yeah. It's good to see you again, Mr. Anderson. How are all the boys back in Washington? They're all fine. I wonder a little bit if Dick Tracy isn't slipping in regards to cleaning up the Stark gang. Huh. I guess a lot of the boys would like to get their teeth into the Stark case. They certainly would. The theft of the torpedo boat hasn't worried, Mr. Anderson. We haven't been able to get any leads as to where the Starks have taken it. All in good time, Dick. I'll wager that before evening you'll know where the torpedo boat is. In the meantime, tell me some of the facts you've run up against in tracking down this Stark gang. Well, we've been able to reconstruct most of the details of the $500,000 armored truck robbery, which cost the life of Agent Merton. I remember the day I gave Ron his first assignment. No time like the present to go to work, Ron. The Ward Trust and Bonding Company has just requested a special agent to accompany half a million dollars across town. Your first assignment. You'll find the details on this card. Right. I'll pick you up at that bank, and we'll take Junior back to school. OK. Uh, yes, sir. They come, Pa. Ahead must be deaf. Yeah, you better turn off this alley at the next intersection. But, sir, we're not supposed to leave our specified route. I know it. But I have a hunch this is not on the level. Ron Merton wasn't killed by gas. 
I was taking Junior back to his military school when I first made inquiries regarding the armored truck. Hello, Mr. Chase. Hello, Malloy. The word bonding shipment arrived yet? No, sir. It's about eight minutes late. I was beginning to wonder about it. I'll check back over its route. If it doesn't arrive in five minutes, send out a general alarm. Yes, sir. What's the matter, Mr. Tracy? I don't know, Junior, but we're going to find out. It's almost through. Be careful you don't get a whiff of that gas when she comes open. Wrong, Junior. The presence of that abandoned truck convinced me that something had happened to the armored car. I backtracked and inquired of various people. The only car that's come out of this alley in the last 15 minutes, Mr. Tracy, was a white one storage van. Which way did it go? I believe it went down that way. Thanks. Certainly was a nice piece of work. Yeah. Went on slick. But the, the G-Man, he... What about the G-Man? You didn't figure on gas masks. Well, come on, what happened? Don't worry. You won't cause us any trouble. Well, kid plucked him. Get a gun on Champ and me. I suppose you made sure he was dead? Well, he dropped without making a sound. Did you make sure he was dead? How do you know you haven't left a witness behind who can identify you all? Slow down. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure of that cheat. The kid will get him. Drive to the city dump. Why, oh, hello, kid. I'm not the kid. Now get going. Sure. Just went around the corner, heading in the direction of the city dump. Thanks. Okay. Slow down. That's the man I'm supposed to meet. Stay with him, Junior. That car catches us, I'll blast you. Anybody see 
see what happened to the men inside of that cab? Burst into flames before I got here. Maybe that man can tell you. He was the first one here. First one I ever seen. I was no more than 20 feet away when it happened. What about the people inside? Poor fellas, they never had a chance. The driver still seemed to be conscious. I tried to get to him, but suddenly the cab was a mass of blaze and flame. You live in the neighborhood? No, 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 I live over the other side of town. I just happen to be walking this way today. You know, the old business, looking for a job. Quite a walk. Yeah. Especially with a broken ankle. You'll be needing a doctor to fix that fracture. The kid was quickly tried and convicted and paid with his life for Ron Merton's death. Later, as you know, we recovered the half a million dollars. An extremely interesting account. Mr. Tracy's office. For you, Mr. Tracy. Tracy speaking. This is Dr. Strobach of the receiving hospital. We have a patient who is badly wounded. He won't give his name, but keeps asking for you. He says he has something very important to tell you about the torpedo boat. You better hurry. He hasn't long to live. I'll be right over. You win your bet, Mr. Anderson. We've got a lead on the torpedo boat. Come on, Steve. We've got to get to the receiving hospital. Let's go. My government offered $50,000 for the torpedo boat. The Stark gang stole it for me during a demonstration. Then the same night, my government cabled me to cancel the deal. I had no money with which to pay the Starks. They shot me and left me for dead. Where is the torpedo boat now? Red, Red Hook Channel, abandoned ship by the... Tracy speaking. Send all available agents to Red Hook Channel. Better look for an abandoned ship grounded there. Lockwood and I will go on ahead. Check the forward deck. I'll go aft. Right. There's enough explosive in one of those to sink a battleship. You think we ought to leave them in this boat? Well, there isn't anything else we can do. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 